Collies were once Scottish herding dogs that became famous through Lassie's TV show. With herding and protecting capabilities, long coats that flow, a wedge-shaped head, lovable and gentle demeanor, this common breed can do well in the country or the city. Rough Collies need at least 45 minutes of outdoor time per day. Once back inside, they're very calm and happy to lounge with their owner. The beautiful, long-haired dogs that protect their master. Rough Collie dogs are loyal, affectionate, responsive, and fast. Known for their beauty, intelligence, obedience, and empathetic qualities, these dogs make great family friends because they have elegant appearance and a variety of positive traits. Dogs that make great pets are Collies. Collies are an attractive group of dogs with their typical long, graceful stature and plush coats. Their dark and almond-shaped eyes help people spot when they're excited. When they perk up, their ears tilt forward, giving them an inquisitive look that makes them smart. They act just as naturally walking down the sidewalk or through the heather. Hi, welcome to our channel, Smart Dog Lover. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the like button for your regular dose of dog-related entertaining videos. Let's get straight into this video. History Having originated from Scotland, the Collie is typically black in color. The name may or may not have come from a Scottish black face sheep and an old-timey word for dog. Historians don't know precisely how and when it was named, but overall, it's believed that there's some relation to these sheep. While the original collies were the same size and shape as today's border collies, black was the dominant color. Herding ability was referred to as physical appearance, so dogs varied greatly in looks. In what is now Britain, people began domesticating dogs in the Stone Age, using them to herd animals such as sheep, cattle, goats, and pigs. Some historians say that Collie's particular ancestors were brought to the British Isles by Roman conquerors 2,000 years ago. Queen Victoria is credited with saving the breed of dogs known as Collies from obscurity. In 1860, she saw a new breed of dog on one of her properties in Scotland. She was smitten by the beauty and gentleness of the dogs and brought some back with her where they became famous. The first dogs that were shown and bred for their looks rather than their working ability appeared in 1860 at a dog show in Birmingham, England. These dogs were known as Scotch Sheepdogs. The Rough Collie is a recognized breed with stable colors. The Collie, the dog credited for creating the color, is believed to have introduced the coat in 1867. The first Collie was imported to the United States in 1879. This led to the creation of the Collie Club of America on August 26, 1886, one of America's most vulnerable canine-related clubs today. Other names, Collies, Collie, Collie, and Collie have been called names that probably derive from call or coal, the Anglo-Saxon word for black. They are known as Collie, long-haired Collie, size, a medium-sized dog, usually around 20 to 26 inches at the shoulders and 50 to 70 pounds. Its thin frame is covered in a long coat that makes it look heavier than it actually is. Males stand 24 to 26 inches tall. Females are 22 to 24 inches tall. Collies weigh 50 to 70 pounds. These animals have long pointed features. They also grow long hair behind them when they run, making them appear wispy. Personality. The well-bred Collie is sweet, friendly, and gentle. She loves being part of the family and is a good protector. Collie tops the other dogs on intelligence and loyalty. This dog is smart, learns quickly, and has the same qualities as a human. Like every dog, the Collie needs early socialization. In other words, they need to interact with many different people and get used to various sights and sounds. Socialization ensures that the Collie develops into an intelligent member of the family and doesn't develop any severe personality issues as they grow up. The rough-coated Collie is a beautiful dog well known for herding and protecting behaviors and its attractive long fur. The rough-coated Collie needs companionship in daily runs or long walks and loves to sit and lounge with his owner. Friendly and affectionate with family and those known or introduced as friends, the Rough Collie bonds closely and is a loyal companion. 
Inclined to bark alert to the presence of strangers, the Collie can make a good watchdog, but will back down quickly when asked to do so. As they're not inclined towards aggression. Pet compatibility. These dogs are great companions to have. They get along well with other dogs and enjoy spending time together. They're gentle and cooperative dogs that can easily be trained to respect cats. Collies are not typically meant for dealing with felines, but if you want to get a well-trained, heartwarming companion capable of purring like a perfect puss, you should consider Collie breeds. Temperament. Like all dogs, the Collie breed needs a lot of space, and they are eager to please. A rough Collie only wants to have fun. This can be remedied if you teach them to behave in a way that doesn't harm others. They like to bark, so they need a lot more training until they can stop. It's best to feed them food that will allow them to be well behaved and train them so that the barking doesn't wind up annoying everyone. Digested food is best at helping with this. Family time. Some people see adopting a dog as a fulfilling gift. Dogs make excellent companions, but they often serve as a second chance at life. Many animals are ready for adoption at shelters and rescue organizations, just waiting for a loving family to love them in their forever home. Collies need an owner or animal companion who will bond with them if the dog is left alone and spend a significant amount of time with it. When left alone without this attention, these dogs can become bored, leading to separation anxiety and behavioral problems. These medium-sized dogs are very active and like to run. Every morning they need an excellent jog to start the day off right, but they do not require exercise as often as other working dogs that might require work day in and day out. They are friendly, loyal, and protective and make one of the best family dogs. The pit cross will lie down and watch its owners do the dishes. Children compatibility. These fluffy pups have many personalities and lovable qualities that make them perfect for families. Their playful nature and love of children make them popular characters among readers. Sometimes they can be nippy, which may frighten small kids, and scaring your cat isn't ideal. But they love running around and chasing after your kids. The Collie is on guard for any danger, especially near the ones she's close to. They are known to never be aggressive and don't shy away from strangers, so they make excellent watchdogs in family home. There are many different breeds of dogs, so as with everything else, you should teach children how to approach pet and interact with all dogs, no matter what breed of dog you own. They should not be left alone with a child. All interactions should be supervised because some can cause damage or severe injuries, such as biting and grabbing of the ears or tail. Owning. When you're waiting for your fluffy baby, there are a few things you need to know before the big day arrives. The best place to start is the website of Collie Club of America. One will usually spend anywhere from $1,200 to $1,500 on buying a purebred rough collie dog. Always meet at least one of the mother's parents. Usually, this is the available mom, but meeting fathers and other parents' relative is an excellent way to assess your pup when it grows up. Your pup needs a daily intake of 27.5 to 36.2 grams of food with two meals, and the pet advisors that work behind the counter can help you find the right food for your furball. Many experts recommend a size of two small meals per day, rather than one large feed. Also, adding a small amount of meat to the food reduces the risk of bloat. Rough and smooth collies make for one of the more popular dog breeds. These dogs are afflicted with epilepsy, patent ductus arteriosus syndrome, and hypothyroidism. The hearing disorder is also a prevalent issue in the breed. Orthopedic diseases are only relatively rare in the breed, but not yet widespread. The amount of grooming necessary for a dog depends on the variety. For example, the rough collie requires frequent brushes because of its shorter fur. However, the smooth collie requires less brushing with long fur and less doggy odor. The rough collie has a coat that requires two to three times weekly brushing, while the smooth collie has a coat that only needs to be brushed one time weekly. Dogs such as rough collies are straightforward and can be easy to care for. However, that doesn't necessarily mean they're docile and don't need much training. These dogs still require a lot of attention from the person who owns them. 
Let us know. If you want more videos like this, click on the subscribe button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.